Hey everybody, I know it's been a while since my last video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a industrial looking bar height table with steel legs out of minimal tools. So if you wanna see how to do it, stick around. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tape all the different pipes and put them together and I got some help from my kids. Um, as you can see, they wanted to use it as a jungle gym. So once I get it all together, uh, some of the pipe was different colors, so I decided to sand it all down. I also have to scrape off the barcodes, and then I will go ahead and take some flat black paint and paint it all one color just so that it matches. I guess if you use pipe that is the same color, you wouldn't have to do this. So the first thing we're going to do is cut the plywood down to the desired length or a rough length because we're going to cut it the final in a little while. I'm going to cut the plywood in half because we're going to glue the two pieces together. This is going to give the tabletop a thicker look. We decided to use the plywood because it turned out to be cheaper and didn't take as long as actually gluing up multiple oak boards to get the tabletop, which this was all what the customer decided to do because it was more cost effective. So I'm going to glue the two together and I'm going to use brad nails as my clamps. And I'm putting the brads in the center of the board because I still have to cut all around it to get it the final dimension. And then I use a square so I can get a right angle off one edge. And I'm going to wrap it in painter's tape and then cut it. I actually lost the footage of cutting this, I guess, but here is how it looks after you pull the tape off. So now I'm going to use brads and go close to that edge since I'm no longer going to cut. And then I'm now going to do the final length and do the same thing on the other side. The next thing I'm going to do is put my square and get a right angle with my, um, since I don't have a track saw, so I have a straight edge for my circular saw to do one of the edges because I am going to put edge banding on this. So I, I'm cutting this panel just slightly short of the overall dimension the edge banding is going to be about a half inch or about a quarter I'm sorry so I'm cutting the whole table about a half inch shorter than the overall dimension once I add the edge banding it will get the final length final dimensions all the way around so I just put a bunch of glue on the edge banding put it on there shoot brads and then I'm going to use a flush trim saw to flush it up on the sides As you can see, it looks pretty good. So I use a lot of brads, just so this doesn't come off before filling all the brads up with wood filler. That just makes it look cleaner at the end. Once stained, you'll never see these little holes. So I sand everything up to about uh, 220, and we decided to use this poly shades, because it's poly and stain at the same time. And I used a brush, like it said, to begin with and the brush I had was not the best quality so I didn't like it so what I did was I went back with a rag and wiped it just like I would do wipe on poly this turns out to be not the right thing I don't end up liking the way this looks so as you see at the end it's gonna look a whole lot better I actually put another coat so then I take the the bottom the base and I pre-drill and then I use four screws in each one to attach it so I don't show it on camera, but before I screwed these down, I adjusted all the flanges to make sure they were going to be the same length from the tabletop so the table would be level before I attached them. So now I'm going to do the top of the table. And again, I used the rag thinking because it was poly, I could wipe it on like wipe on poly. But this turns out not to be right because it started the rag started grabbing and it didn't just rub on smooth. It looks okay, but you can see kind of like spotchy areas right there. Here it is at the customer's house in inner kitchen. You can see this is before the next coat I add on there and it looks okay, but I think it would have looked way better once it was darker. So I do talk to her and she was fine with me adding another coat in the house because she had a party the next day. And so I added a coat, as you can see right here, the final color. And I think it looks a whole lot darker. It is wet, obviously, because I just put it on, but a whole lot darker and a whole lot more even compared to how it was before. 
And the main thing is, at the end of the day, the customer was happy how it turned out. She loved the table, and that's all that really matters. But if you're going to use this finish, make sure you use a high-quality brush. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Also, if you haven't already, uh, think about subscribing. Big things happening with this channel next year, so click that bell so you are up to date. Thanks for watching.